life is hard. See, for every time you have a plan, a dream, an aspiration, or a goal, do you know what happens every time you have one of those? This thing comes along called life. Sometimes we have something that happens in our life that is a tipping point. It takes us over the edge. That drives us to a place where we just can't take it anymore, and all of a sudden we react to it. I appreciate every facet, every phase, what some may consider to be success, failure, opposition, ups, downs. I appreciate every facet of life, and I firmly believe that life is the greatest classroom. Right? And when I encounter situations, my perspective goes to a place of, okay, life, what are you trying to teach me right now? I'm wondering if there's anybody out there who has ever gotten to the point of exasperation, depressed enough and discouraged enough and frustrated enough that you just want out of your own life, out of your own skin, out of your own world. You can get in the car and just drive until you ran out of gas and then get on a bus and go until you ran out of money and wherever you were, change your name and turn into somebody else because it's enough. But I learned along the way Everything that's happening to you is God's process. Every difficult moment you're having, you just process it. That's all he's doing. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. And if you need to be tough, when you get to where you're going, then he's going to toughen you. I need you to rejoice in the midst of opposition, in the midst of adversity, in the midst of trials. It's a big difference between quoting scripture and having to live it. Whatever you do, please don't quit. The danger of quitting is it has the possibility to become a habit, and then before long, you'll look up and you'll quit on your wife, you'll quit on your relationship with God, you'll quit on anything that brings a level of discomfort, and it doesn't give you the validation you want because you're not getting it and because you're not cut like that. Life is hard. See, for every time you have a plan, a dream, an aspiration or a goal. Do you know what happens every time you have one of those? This thing comes along called life. It happens to everybody. We gotta wake up every single day. We gotta fight and we gotta build it. In the midst of opposition, adversity and challenges, like I told the guys I played with, I don't care how tall your daddy was, you gotta do your own growth. True courage is the ability to accept pain and start things without any guarantee of success, but also understanding that the ability to learn is a gift even when pain is your teacher. Life has disappointments, it's got peaks and valleys. You're gonna lose somebody you care about one day. That's a valley. Somebody gonna close the plant you thought was gonna stay open so you can retire. That's a valley. Somebody gonna fire you for an unjust cause. That's a valley. Judge the character of a person by where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. You got some of the most brilliant people on the face of this planet. When they hit adversity, they can't fight themselves out of the paper bag. And it's not even that they don't have the will, like they got it. It's that the perspective about the adversity isn't right. And I firmly believe perspective drives performance every day of the week. How an individual view what they do will always affect how they do what they do. You can stop thinking that life is to be easy because I got news for you, it ain't. That's a false hope to think you're going to have a, a, a wonderfully carefree life. That's unthinkable. What, what do you do when the clock is against you and, and, and you have enough wisdom to do it over but you don't have enough time to do it over? What do, you, what do you do when you've missed your season and you've missed your window of opportunity? There's a reason why it happened at this age. There's a reason why it happened at this level in life. It's not a mistake. It's not an accident. I had to learn how to appreciate a lot. To really understand the value of money, I had none. To just appreciate simple things. What I'm going to eat today, where I'm going to wash up at, where I'm going to bathe. All of that that I was going through, that I was tripping with, that I did not appreciate or understand, I understand it now because I'm on the other side of them troubles. And I understand what all them troubles was for. And even though I did not understand or appreciate the route he took me on, it was the route I had to go on. 
It's amazing because sometimes you cannot know you're blessed because you're going through a famine only to find out that the thing that you were worried about is not nearly as significant as the thing that you had. I want to tell you that your opposition is your opportunity. The challenge of my life is to coexist between two things that are totally true yet opposing each other and my perspective is the only thing that makes a difference. I see bad things happening to people that I consider to be good people. So let me try to figure it out. It's somebody I love, somebody I respect. Now they're going through an extreme level of opposition and they've lost the thing that we both place our identity in. And so, yeah, I want to help him, but I really want to see how he's going to respond to the opposition. And he says he's a believer. In spite of the risk, in spite of the discomfort, in spite of my own human frailties, is this the opportunity hidden in the opposition? That one tennis was the catalyst to change my perspective on how to manage the rest of my life. I did not know that I cannot control the variables. I can only control the perspective. See, the route you on right now is the route you got to take. And it's very uniquely yours. This thing you're going through, this is just uniquely yours. You just got to understand, you ain't the only one. You ain't the only one going through it. Character's not something we inherit. Character's something we got to wake up every single day. We got to fight it. We got to build it. Right? In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of successes, in the midst of failures, we got to get up every single day. We got to fight for peace. It's an urge. It's an urge. Truth be told, every champion has felt it. Every president has felt it. Every king has felt it. Every lion has felt it. Every winner has felt it. Every soldier has felt it. Every victorious person has felt it. The urge. I want to encourage somebody that's in the fight right now that the fact that you're in the fight is a sign that you've been changed because you didn't used to fight it. There's something else in you that's giving you a desire to be better than where you came from, to rise above the mediocrity of your background. Tonight, you get to fight. Tonight, you get a renewal. Tonight, you get a sense of relief. Tonight, you get a moment of clarity. Life is hard. See, for every time you have a plan, a dream, an aspiration, or a goal,